Here we are in France to answer your questions about the war. We're going to start out with an interview with a German officer. Good afternoon. Hardly. Well, why is that? Well, we're kind of in a war. Why is that? Look, I thought you were here to talk to me. Well, no, I meant why are we in the middle of a war? Well, some teenage boy decided to assassinate Archduke Franz Ferdinand and him and the Black Hand terrorist group. They're just trying to stir up trouble. Yes, but the war couldn't be started by a simple assassination. Well, the people getting ready for war really didn't help. Another one buys the dust. Another one buys the dust. And another one bought, and another one bought. Another one buys the dust. Hey, hey, look at you two. Another one buys the dust. When did you first use trenches? In the Battle of the Mar, September 1914. We were forced to retreat to the river of Seine. Who decided to use trenches? General Eric von Falkenhayn. How did he decide? Well, he knew that we had to hold those parts of France and, France and Belgium if we were to win the war. So we were the first to decide to use the trenches, and we got the best places. And we forced the British and the French to live in the worst conditions, but we got the high ground in the good conditions. Well, how deep do the trenches go? About seven feet deep, six feet wide. And the, we have a parados, which is basically a thick line of sandbags to keep the bullets and shell fragments out. Those can do some damage. What's the parados? Well, it's the back of the trench. How do you see over the trench without getting shot? We have a fire step. And the fire step is? Well, a two or three foot ledge. <laughs> Can you describe the trenches for me? Uh huh. What do the trenches look like? Well, they're not dug in a straight line because if they did, if the enemy somehow magically got in there, they could shoot us all. So, and we have we alternate between fire bays, crevices, duck boards, and they're on the and duck boards are on the bottom of the trench to prevent trench foot. And then the sides there are dugouts and funk holes and to protect us from the enemy fire and, and weather and any other wild animals that can come along. What are fire bars, traverses, <clears throat> duck boards, dugouts, and funk holes? Fire bays are straight sections of a trench where we do our shooting. Traverses are built at angles. Duck boards are just wooden planking. Duckouts are protective holes dug in the side, and funk holes are small areas scraped out of the side of a trench so soldiers can have a waterproof sh shelter and they can get to try to get some sleep. And, but I think that's too dangerous. How do you protect the frontline trenches? Barbed wire entanglements and machine gun posts are basically all we can do. Saps, which are short trenches, are dug about 30 yards forward into no man's land to listen to the enemy. Well, how many trenches do you have? We have support and reserve trenches behind the front line. There are three rows of trenches covering 200 to 500 yards of ground. Communication trenches are dug at angles to the front line trench. They are used to transport men, equipment, and food. What was that? Um, uh, an airplane. Huh, that's nice. What do you use those for? We use them to spot enemy positions and to deliver bombs and <laughs> Successful in the skies at the moment. They're flown by. What other weapons do you use? Uh, we use machine guns, and they only need, they need about four to six people to operate, but they have just enough firepower as a hundred rifles. I heard that you guys also use gas. Uh, yeah, we did. You can feel free to add any details. I took it from Russia. 
kind of gas did you use? Chlorine was the first gas we used, but it was also dangerous, and the wind had to be just right. Who started the use of poison gas? Sorry, sir, the minister gas here, the minister gas here! Go, go take the front line! <laughs> fired tear gas grenades at us. When did you guys start? The Battle of Yipers, April of last year. So regular weapons are more effective? Yep. Pretty much. What about machine guns? Who has the best? We've got the best. We've got separate machine guns to support our infantry. The British didn't create their machine gun until October last year. And machine guns are mostly for defensive purposes. What are their weaknesses? Well, the United Kingdom relies heavily on imports to feed their population as part of the war. So we're using our navy to blockade and starve Britain using U boats and attack merchant ships. That's who generally commands around here? Us. As in... Germans. I have a message for you, sir! I gotta go. But I wasn't finished! We're now going to talk to a British officer. Good afternoon. So do you mind me asking any questions? That's the word. How are planes for military effectiveness? They are better for their ability and intelligence position in bombing the enemy supplied supplying bases. The large planes were weaker bombing. Horses are now obsolete. Talk to a British British soldier. So, what's the food like around here? It's considered a luxury out here. How's that? When the, a battle's going on, it's near impossible to get hot food out here. And during but during a stand down, you can expect it. But we eat it at night, so we can't see the worms. Well, I suppose that's good. Except for the worms. Yeah, we get more of a variety than the Germans. So, what's life like in the trenches? There are rats and mice and trench foot. What's trench foot and how do you deal with the rats? Trench foot is where your foot swells up to two to three times its normal size and then it dies. You can stick a bayonet through it and not feel a thing. And when the rats come at you at night, they come at you and you just kind of lay still. They come on your foot, kick them flying. Huh. Well, how do you deal with life around here? Well, some of us don't. I knew this one guy who stuck his hand above the trenches just so he could get his fingers shot off, and as they were taking him to the dressing station, he got shot with a bullet in the head. <laughs> that was hmm. What do you do for entertainment? I read letters if I get any, uh, listen to music, and play cards, especially poker. Okay, well, thank you for your time. You